Okay, for the parrot, you're going to have about two and a half to three inches uninflated. Start at the nozzle end, you're going to form three bubbles. The second and third bubble are going to be twisted together. Then you can let go. This is the parrot's brain, the parrot's eyes. You're going to make about a six inch bubble for the top part of the beak. Fold this under like you're going to make a pair of legs, but this I pull so that it gives the top a curl a little bit. And then I reach over and around. Squeeze this when you twist and then twist them around together. So you make the parrot's beak. It should have a nice curved shape to it. Then you're going to make the neck of the bird just big enough to get the head off the body. Make what would be the same thing as a pair of legs that are about four inches, five inches long. Then you're going to do the three bubble roll by making another bubble, the, another bubble that's the same length as these. So if these are four or five, then that should be four or five. Hold this like a Wii remote. Push it down. Use these fingers on both hands. Grip these two bubbles. Roll them over that third one. Once you get it over, you need to pull this down, pull the head forward and up. Then I make a pair of legs that are about two and a half inches a piece. And this is the bird's feet. You can actually use this and help it pinch on somebody's shirt and stuff by pulling the shirt through so it'll sit up. Right after the feet, I bend about an inch. After that, bend it down so you make the tail. This is, it's more like a toucan than a parrot. 